and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at three games for Windows 10 Mobile again and today we are going to have a look at Find the Cat 2, Shoot Duck, Don't Shoot Gift, don't ask me about that choice of a name but whatever, and um, LDW Parking Pro. My name is Gerald. As always I've got a couple of different things with me which are for instance a Bluetooth mouse and of course we are going to have the follow keyboard in this episode too and in this episode we have a game that supports the Xbox One's wireless controller so we are going to use that one. I'm not sure if it's the best way of playing but it is a way of playing and it's viable so we are going to use it in this episode. Other than that, of course, the main protagonist in this whole setup is the uh, Lumia 950 XL, which is the Windows 10 mobile smartphone with the motion cover at the back. And it's equipped with a USB-C connector at the bottom. It can be connected by a USB-C cable or wireless, depending on what you want to have and which setup you're going to use. Um, and it has this display dock connected to it in this case. And the display dock itself is connected to the TV and like that we can use this desktop-like experience provided by the smartphone with our big screen here and play on it. And as you can see, we can of course use, for instance, a Bluetooth mouse now to navigate it and have this mouse point and stuff like that. You know about that. And uh, other than that, if you want to know more about all this, please have a look at the corner up there. Um, and uh, yeah, you might notice that my face is very, very bright today. And um, that's because I've got a new window in my uh, room here. And the problem is I don't have any kind of, of sun blocking at the moment. So this is uh, the total sun that is shining into my face. I can't do much about it, but I hope you are still fine with this episode. Other than that, let's start with the first game. Of course, if you want to know more about uh, Continuum and stuff like that, have a look up there. There is uh, in the corner there are a couple of other videos about all this and the whole process and stuff like that. And other than that, let's start with the first game. The first game is going to be Find the Cat. Um, Find the Cat is exactly what you would yeah, uh, more or less um, assume it would be. Um, it's a game where you're going to search for cats. Find them. That's already enough. Find the cat too in this case. And you're going to search for cats in this game. And uh, all you have to do is you uh, get a couple of different images shown to you. And somewhere on there, there is a cat. And that cat is going to be, yeah, more or less the, the aim for your mouse. So click on it. And if you click on it, then you have solved that one picture. Some are pretty hard to find, some are much easier, but some are really pretty hard to find, especially if you're not playing on a big screen, like I am doing. And um, I'm going to, tur to turn around, go a little bit uh, far away, because otherwise it's even harder if you ask me. And um, then let's have a look at the game itself. Um, for that I'm just going to go to Wiedergabe in this case. It's let's say on the worser side of translations with this game, but doesn't really matter. Um, in the end, this is play, this is uh, the score, of course. Werkstatt probably means settings, or means that you can do sell. Yeah, it's settings. Um, this would be a repair shop, if you are <laughs> telling it like this, but it's more or less that what you, they want to do you. So you can, for instance, uh, yeah, buy those two options here. It really doesn't matter much. I don't think that anybody wants that. Um, other than that, let's go to the play button here. And there are a couple of different difficulty levels here. So from very easy to um, flawed, more or less. So probably some of the images are not working or something. I'm not even sure what that is. And um, you can't play. Uh, each and every one by start, so you will have to start with a very simple and go through the different difficulty levels to go on here. Um, I'm going to turn around and show you what this game is all about. So, let's see. We have very simple, so let's start with that just to show you what's going on. There's a little bit of of uh, music going on in this game, I like it too, and of course there's a timer running. 
And now you will have to find the cat in the picture. Here is a cat, so just click on it and go to the next cat. And each and every level has a couple of them. So you will have to find the cat and this one is already a little bit harder to find. She is here, but still very, very hard in some kind of way. Other parts are pretty, pretty easy as you can see. And um, yeah, sometimes they are really, really hidden. I'm not even sure what I should do at this point. I think one of those is just enough to find her. Here's another cat, so just select the cat, if you like cats, of course, and if you like finding picture games or something, it's a good one. So this is very funny too, because they really look pretty similar. Some pictures are really, really fun to look at, others are just normal, yeah, normal pictures you can see here, something like that. Somebody playing some kind of a game and a cat sitting there. And sometimes, for instance, this would be very hard if it wouldn't be in the middle of the image, but um, some cats really have a great camouflage there, so it's really not easy to do that. I really love this picture. She is at this point, but as you can see, the whole image could be one big dog too, would be very, very close to not noticeable. Yeah, and so you are going to play those all too. Just find the different cats. <laughs> this is hilarious, I like it. And um, yeah, if you find all the different cats after a while, as you can see, it's 18 ones you have to find here. I'm not sure which one I should put there, but this seems to be the right one. And um, yeah, in the end, you have to just find 18 parts in this case to solve this part. And as you can see, I have it has taken me uh, one minute and eighteen seconds to uh, fulfill that. And um, after that, you are just going to go out there, and you have now einfach unlocked. So the simple part, not very simple, but simple, um, can now or very easy, whatever, uh, can now obtain and and run through. And so this is the game. Just try it out. I find it pretty nicely done. Of course, a very simple game, but still, if you like cats and stuff like that, it's a pretty nice one. Just try it out. Okay, so the next game in our uh, mashup is Shoot, Duck, Don't Shoot, Gift. Yeah, um, very creative name if you ask me, but whatever. Um, it's more or less a shooting range on a, yeah, on a, on a festival or something. So let's see what we can do there. Shoot, oops, not shot, shoot, duck, there we go. Um, yeah, it's a festival shooting game more or less where you are going to shoot at different um, guys which are coming through. It's a very simple one. Um, you just have a certain amount of time to shoot the different, uh, different ducks coming around. This is much easier on a, on a touch screen device, but we are going to play it with a mouse, so we are very, very bad at that in general. But anyway, um, you have a different score. In the end, it's not about hitting everything or that no ducks can go through or something, but you will have to, to uh, get the highest score, more or less, in a certain amount of time that is given to you. This is more or less what this game is all about. I, I misinterpreted that. Uh, before, so when I tried it, I thought that no of the ducks can go through or something, but that's very hard with the mouse. Um, and uh, it doesn't seem to be like that, you just have to kill as many as you, as you can, or shoot at least as many as you can. And don't shoot the present, it's not really looking like a present, it's more like, yeah, see yourself, you will see what I'm talking about. And. Now we are just going to get rid of the bar down here and now we can probably, can I do that? No. Okay, so there's no other option to bring it in full screen, which is fine, doesn't really matter. And now we are going to play this. And as you can see, it's very simple. Everything that is moving is a duck, you should shoot that. 
everything that isn't moving shouldn't be killed more or less. And uh, yeah, you can already see why it might be sometimes a little bit harder to do that. Oh, and just to let you know, don't shoot the red ones. I think they are losing your point. I'm not really sure. You can, as you can see, just not get everything and stuff like that. That's fine. Something like this. Oh, come on. It's a pretty high score we are getting here. Last time I played it, it was something like 16 or so. Time is running out, as you can see. More or less in the end. It's not really a timer, if you ask me. You just have to keep a positive score, more or less. So, each and every duck that is going to run away is fine. But you will have to cope for them by shooting on different other ducks. This is more or less what the game is all about. Don't you uh, uh, fire on the red ones. The red ones are going to lose you one point and of course don't shoot at the gifts, which are going to be bad too. And as you can see, it's getting faster and faster the longer you're playing it. So after a while you're going to lose this game, which is fine still. because in the end it's much oh, come on, easier and if you are just shooting somewhere they could see it just lost one of the points here come on there we go and um, you just have a limited amount of miss hits and there we go so it, I lost it, but in the end this is more or less a game, just try it out. I like it very much, as you can see we've got a 72 as the best score now, which is a lot higher than before. It's a very simple game, I think you already know what this is all about. Especially for kids or something, this might be something you want to let them play. If you are for instance driving with a car or something and want to have them occupied. Yeah, and then let's have a look at the last game in our mashup. And this one is really a pretty nice one. It's called ATV or Fee, whatever, uh, Parking Pro. So let's see what this is all about. Um, it's a nice little game. There we already have it. I'm going to click on it. Um, it's a nice little game where you are going to have to drive through a certain yeah, let's say parkour, it's most often very, very simple to drive through, but sometimes very hard. Um, so it's not as it's it's yeah, gifted to you or something. And uh, all you have to do is you have to park in a special sp uh, spot that is given to you. Um, it's a 3D game, so we are going to have to use a car in this case, really a mini. And um, yeah, all you are going to have to use is, for instance, your... Xbox One is Rhinox controller or something like that. And uh, you can play it with, for instance, other uh, options too. For instance, with, uh, with your keyboard if you don't have a controller or a gamepad or something. And yeah, it's it's really, really nicely done if you ask me. So for instance, you can see it already here. You can buy different cars to drive with. Um, those have to be well bought by in-game uh, parts, of course. So um, just choose the one you want to play with. Um, I already have one, it's a, it's a mini in this case and that one is perfectly usable for the first level we are going to play. And um, yeah, other than that, let's turn around. Um, very important if you have uh, any kind of a different um, control than touch for instance, you want to set that up in the settings here. So as you can see there are a couple of different options, sounds and the controls. And the controls are given to you like this, a wheel, some kind of button and, and pedals. And uh, of course you can use, for instance, uh, the accelerator, no, the orientation of the smartphone to control everything. And you can, for instance, use the keyboard. And if you are using the keyboard, 
automatically the Xbox One of Riders controller will be fine there too, so use that one and you should be fine. After that, just click on the beginner level in this case. As you can see, it's a lot of different levels here. We are going to start with the first one just to, to show you how simple it is at the start and how much harder it's going to be, so it's not really easy. And as you can see, it's a really nice 3D game, giving you nice car models. Um, there are no shadows or something, but I don't think you need them, especially because that will hit the performance hard. But in this case, it's pretty nice and you can really play it with this kind of car. Um, if it's not working for you at the start, it's sometimes normal with Xbox One uh, with uh, the controller here, Bluetooth enabled, of course. And um, if that is the case, just click where it or hold the button till it's off again, and just click again to reconnect it. And after that, you can use it, and the controller should work. And in the end, you don't have to click any kind of power buttons or something. Um, all you have to do is drive through this parkour and it's very helpful that you have this up uh, top and uh, above uh, option here and drive through it and go to the parking slot don't hit anything if you are going to hit anything at this point you're going to lose and you will have to start again but as you can see Pretty nice game, pretty nice optics here. Um, for some reason I can't, for instance, select anything like this. So for the menu you are going to need your mouse again or your touch again. But in the end, if you are trying to go through these levels, you see they are going to be complex or more complex than before. Just drive very, very slowly. You can really more or less drive very fast with it, but you shouldn't, because otherwise you're going to hit something here, and then you will have to restart the game. Yeah, like this for instance. I got this, you, you already could see it, it, it turned red there, and I got the, the pylon there, and so we have to restart it, and try it again. Um, is this easier to be played with the keyboard? I am not totally sure, but probably. Uh, I will have to have a look at the top view more than I did until uh, now. So let's try it again. Um, it's easier to play this with the keyboard, if you ask me, than with the controller, for instance. Because if you do that, you are going to have more controls and I think there's no oh, oh, there's no break or something in this uh, setup. So let, let's try it out. I didn't test it to the end in the end. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's Y is a break, so it's there. Just not A. I would have put it on A or B, but but it doesn't really matter. It's on Y in this case. So I use that one. And you should be able to break through. Then I would say it's still a little bit easier to drive with a with a keyboard. But I'm not that used to controllers, so maybe I'm just not that familiar with that. And probably this time around we've got a chance of getting through. And as you can see, there are a couple of things on the ground to make it harder for you to go over it and stuff like that. It's really a very nice game if you ask me and then you have to stand in the spot to get the parking lot and yeah this is more or less what this game is all about and the levels are going to be harder and harder each time you're going to uh, click on the next button of course so this time around you will have to turn around more or less which is very hard in a very very small spot you would have to to do it in a couple of different ways here, um, but I will leave that up to you because I think you already know what this game is all about. How it's looking, and I think it's a nice looking game. Just try it out, it's you know, worth playing, I would say. Okay, and other than that, I would say thank you for watching, thank you for listening. I hope you had a great time with this episode, um, and uh, of course, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. 
Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to know, uh, uh, get more information about all the different episodes that are going to come out. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have, have a great time, have a great day, and see you around in the next episode. Bye. Bye.